posted a most excellent tech point video that showcased an element of his spinning style that I really hadn't picked out before, but that once I noticed it, all of a sudden made his very distinctive style uh, digestible to me in a way that wasn't before, which is that in a lot of cases when he's doing direction and timing changes, rather than use a 1.5 like I usually do, or stalls like some other people do, a good portion of the time he's using isolated throws. Um, isolated throws, of course, having this very interesting property wherein they always reverse the direction of poi from the point at which you released it, right? There are, of course, four different configurations for releasing the, uh, the handle of poi. You can throw the handle up for a reverse turn. You can throw it down to essentially continue the direction that it was originally spinning in. You can throw it to the left. You can throw it to the right, yeah? And when you put that together with both hands, it creates a number of different configurations wherein you can let them both go down together, you can let them go both up together, you can shoot them both to the same side, you can shoot them to different sides, so on and so forth, right? You can, even if you're feeling saucy, oh, do them in split time, yeah? I'll be the first to admit my split time is still not up to snuff, but it's getting there. So, Playing with these has been fun because it's really opened up kind of a new world of ways that I can make these timing and direction changes happen that I hadn't really considered very much before because I really rarely play with throws. But it definitely adds an interesting visual panache to any kind of spinning. Whenever you perform a throw, there's always this moment where the audience is wondering whether or not you're actually going to catch the boy. And so by using that as a fundamental method of switching your timing and direction, which happens very frequently as we spin, it creates a lot of tension for the audience, which is kind of cool. And which I think is one of those things that really makes boy boy style feel like boy boy style. So I, I, I really appreciate that. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy that, and uh, it inspires some of you to do a little bit of woodshedding on these yourselves, and uh, yeah, hope you all have a good week, thank you for watching, and peace.